Leo, welcome to your next three months overview. That is January, February, March. I hope you are well. I hope you are fabulous. And it has been about three months since I last did the three month check in. So we've already done our 2023 overview. And now we're going to take a more detailed look at late winter to early spring. Yeah. So let me explain the board to you. Starting with the magician, one, January. The high priestess, two, February. The empress, three, March. And then also, of course, any major decisions that might need to be made over the next several months, and then anything that is unexpected or untoward with that tower energy. Okay? Let's start right here with January. Show me, Leo, please, in January. Show me. Show me, Leo, please, in January. Show me, Leo, please, in January. Show me, Leo. Show me my beautiful lines, please, for... January. Show me January for Leo, please. And I do believe your message comes out the day after Christmas. So if you recognize Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope it was fantastic. I hope it was beautiful. I hope it was fabulous and that you had some time to yourself with family and friends. Okay. But yes, happy holidays to you. Show me what I need to see, please. For Leo in January. Show me Leo in January, please. What's going on for Leo in January? Seven of Pentacles, Slow Growth, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. How interesting. How interesting. There's something here that you've been contemplating for a while. A while. And it's been with you for a while. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords. You've kind of done this back and forth thing. Should I leave it? Should I go towards it? Should I leave it? Should I go towards it? It's been with you. So this is not news to you. In other words, this is an idea, thought, and or action that has been with you for some time, okay? Starting back from 2022. There is something that is growing in you that suggests calmly, I'd like to move towards the Six of Cups and Soul Bond energy, okay? Who or what that is to you, I do not know. And you have contemplated going in either direction. Leave it behind, calmly, just let it alone, or go towards it. There's some sort of energy here that suggests I have time, energy, and effort with this person. It wasn't the fastest growing. It wasn't. It required careful cultivation. Okay? It's tricky at times. But it is there. We've known this person a long time. Many a moon. Many a year. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. This is all time. Time, time, time. And the soul bond being terribly unique. Okay, it's not something you can replicate. It does not have to be a love interest, of course. Six of Cups comes in a variety of uh, energies and relationships. It could be family, it could be friends. I can kind of see that you have been looking at it calmly and from a distance for some time. You have time in it, true. Um, and it might have stopped a little bit, gotten fuzzy, stagnant. Okay, but you're looking at it in a place of calmness and serenity. What do I do with it? I have the opportunity to leave it behind. I feel strongly some of you are feeling or have been thinking. I have every reason to believe, Leo's thinking, I can leave this behind in 2022 or I can try to approach it in the new year. You seem to have that choice. You seem to have that choice. And um, it's looking very calm contemplative but it is someone whom we know let's see if we can push past that and get a little more detail in there I'd like to see a little bit more about what you're doing in January given the quiet contemplation here I don't quite see it as being excuse me <clears throat> I don't quite see it as you considering entering a new soul bond. It's looking like um, calmly looking at what do I do with this one. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. Can I get more on January, please? Can I get more on January, please? Can I get more on January, please, for Leo? devil ace of pentacles king of wands wow Ooh. okay 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 we pushed past it a little bit 
There you are, as the King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Devil energy could be connecting to Capricorn. Not necessarily. You could have some Capricorn in your chart. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. We dug a little deeper. On the surface, your energy is so calm and contemplative. We push past that, and I see much stronger energy for you. You came out. You came out rather intensely, honey. You came out rather intensely. On the surface, mm -hmm. I have a six cups here. I have a soul bond, Christina. I've known that person a long time. We have some roots. Okay? It may not have been the most fruitful. It may not have been the most protective. Do you know how calm your energy opened up towards me? I could leave it behind in 2022, or I can go towards it. I don't know, but I'm thinking about it. I pushed past that, and your energy got very loud, very quickly. In that respect of, um, here's what I'm presenting on the surface, in reality, in 3D. Then you pop up, King of Wands, that's you. The fixed signs are the kings, respectively. Ace of Pentacles, the devil. It's in that respect, it's coming across as, this is mine. Now, I'm not saying that you are being a bad person. I'm not judging you. Your energy is telling me, this is mine. This is mine, and I know it's mine. I want it. How far that devil runs, I do not know. But you're telling me this is mine, and there's some heat on it. There's a little bit of frustration here. There's some anger there. You see it as an opportunity you could put forward because in some respects your energy has marked this situation or this connection is yours. It's mine. You're a little possessive of it. It's mine. I want it. You are intent on keeping it. Not only that, your energy really wants to come forward towards it as the King of Wands declarative. I know what I'm doing. I want to make a gesture towards this. In some respect, you see it as being yours. Very much so. There is some anger on it, but it's coming from a place of passion. In that respect of, uh, this is mine. Okay? It's interesting. I have a reason to believe you have some strong earth in your chart, I believe. There's that steadfastness on the surface. Calm. I don't move too fast. I don't do anything too fast. I kind of carefully develop things over time to, holy shit, <laughs> to that some holy shit energy. Okay, I want to get back to that thought. I want to get back to that devil. I want to see what that looks like for you. The devil energy can be used in our favor if we know it's there and we understand that it's there. There is a benefit to understanding our devil energy, for which we all have in some way, to some extent, you cannot be alive and not experience some level of devil energy. This could simply be, my love, a connection that you feel very, very, very intensely about. It seems to provoke some of your stronger qualities as King of Wands. Very much so. Yeah, it could be a connection that, while on the surface, you can kind of look at it from a contemplative state. I'm not doing anything about this right now. I can leave it behind or I can go towards it. And then underneath that calmness, and uh, I'm just looking at this casually, I'm not making any steps right now. Underneath that is that that's mine. I have very strong feelings about that connection. And, uh, there is a contemplation here of a brand new beginning attached to it. Okay. And it's coming from that place of claiming, claiming this ownership. It's mine. So again, this could be simply a connection that you feel very, very strongly about. Very strongly about. So much so that perhaps the intensity frightens you a little bit. But it's interesting. 
when I pushed past that serenity and calmness, that level-headedness on the surface that you presented to me so casually, so coolly, is this explosion of energy that really provokes some very strong aspects in you. Your passion, your intensity, someone who ignites you, very much so. I want to get back to that devil, I'm not quite done with it. But let's go ahead and take a look at February. From what I can tell, the Ace of Pentacles being the most realistic and viable of the Aces, it's looking like I, Leo, want to put forward a solid offer, a solid gesture. Okay. I need to do this. I feel very strongly about it. Let's jump on over to February. Show me February, please, for Leo. My, my, my. That was just the first uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> Leo, honey, I haven't seen that little edge on you in a long time. Not a long time. I've seen some up and down stuff for you for months. It's true. Absolutely true. But seeing that kind of hard edge in you, whew. Ooh, I haven't seen a hard edge in you like that in a long time. Show me the High Priestess, please. Show me February, please, for Leo. Show me February, please, for Leo. It may or may not be related to that, I do not know. But honey, that's a hell of a way to kick off the year, I must say. Show me. Show me February, please. No, the devil does not scare me, nor should it scare you. Okay, it's a metaphor for that which provokes in us very strong reactions, and sometimes we don't know where they're coming from. The things that we feel we are bound to or are afraid of, our shadow side, okay? And then sometimes... It's an energy and a feeling that's so strong, sometimes it impedes our sense of feeling, our intuition, our instinct, and it causes us in a certain level of panic because we can't always necessarily get in touch with ourselves or access ourselves when we're in proximity to someone else's energy that makes us feel overwhelmed sometimes. And I know what that's like. I think a lot of people do, you know. It's like, uh, it's interesting because this energy pulls out you, pulls from you, excuse me, some of your strongest dynamics as the King of Wands. So I know you react intensely to this person. So much so that it makes you feel like sometimes you're crazy or that you want to lose your mind or, you know, what the hell is this? You know. Show me the High Priestess, please, for February. Show me the High Priestess, please, for February. Show me that High Priestess, please. Again, the High, Pri High Priestess is to February. Show me the Fool, Two of Swords, Nine of Wands. There is an energy in you that you would like very, you, you want to open up more. In February, you do. You're going to have a very strong inclination to open up to be the fool, okay? To not carry with you judgments um, and a sense of just being light and allowing yourself to open up towards the world, but you're telling me you can't see it and that you're having a hard time pushing past it with the Two of Swords and the Nine of Wands. You're resisting that element to open up fully into the energy that you very much desire. So the fool is terribly innocent. He has no agenda. It is a spiritual thing. You have to experience it. It's that thing that says, I want to get out and be part of the world. And you can't necessarily define it, but it feels like fresh energy, fresh heart, fresh eyes, fresh spirit. New chapter energy. And we're kind of blocking that. Nine of Wands, the Two of Swords. You're saying, I can't see it. I can't fully define it, so I'm not going to allow myself to do it. I want to push, push. I need to push past that, Leo. I have no idea if it relates to January or not. Show me how it relates, please. What are we feeling like opening up towards, spiritually speaking? I want to push past that, and I think you do too. Show me. Show me what we are trying to open up towards, but resisting. Opening up towards and resisting. Opening up towards and resisting. Opening up towards and resisting. Show me that, please. Show me. Show me. The Queen of Cups. Love. The High Priestess, Intuition, Two of Cups, it's, it's, it's that. We have, we have such a, baby, heavy water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces does not have to be. Um, what you want to open up towards is what would really benefit you the most, and that is simply love. It's, it's quite literal. I ask direct questions to spirit so I can get direct answers. 
and I said specifically what is it you want to open up towards but you are resisting what are you trying to open up towards but resisting what are you trying to open up towards but are resisting show me show me show me and the answer Leo honey simply unabashedly is quite simple it's love it's love And with it, your sense of intuition and feeling. That you have a two of cups, someone that you can harmonize with, full heart. Someone of full love. Full heart, full love, highly intuitive. You are or they are. Heavy water orientation. It's very much what you desire. On the spiritual level as the fool, who has no agenda, as I said. It's a very specific feeling. I want to be open and free towards this. Free to move about the cabin, as they say, in the airline industry. <laughs> but we block it. We block that feeling to go towards this. You want this person in your vicinity. You want them in your life. Let's make that clear. You do. Even if it comes from a place of such high intensity and high frequency that it's sometimes shocking or frightful. Okay? You've told me you want this energy. You opened up with it super cash. Super cash. I can leave that behind in 2022. Or not. I'm thinking about it. I pushed past that to get an idea or gauge your process. You're telling me this person provokes a lot in me, Christina. To the point sometimes I can't feel my own instincts or my own sense of intuition. I'll show you where your intuition is right here. This person represents love. You know that you want them, very much so. To the point that it sometimes feels shocking to you. Disruptive. And it's like, I can't put my finger on the pulse. I just know that that person is mine. And I want them. You want to open up towards it, but you block it. And this is what you're blocking, or trying to. And that love is quite large. It's beautiful, and it's smooth. The High Priestess is here. You feel it, so do they. I know you want this person in your life. They represent love underneath it all. Underneath all the frustration and the blockage and the stuff that we impose upon ourselves. At the end of the day, they represent love to you. That's why you want to claim it. And that's why you feel so intensely about it. So much so that I believe it blocks your intuition and or instinct towards what this person represents and why you would put your energy forward towards them still. You say they're yours. But then so too is their heart space. And yours. We're having a hard time claiming the heart space even though we want this person. It's love. You feel it. You do. Even if that feeling is so magnified that you lose the original concept, you lose the trail of the thing. The trail of the thing is love. This person's leading you on a trail to love. Okay? And that's why you continue to contemplate this person. And you say, no. I feel very strongly about this, so much so that sometimes it freaks me out. But it also provokes a lot in me. I want to open up towards them, but I can't. I want to. They represent love. And it's within you too, it's not just they. It's you too. That's where this energy comes from. You know what they represent, ultimately. Even if it's a weird feeling. And sometimes those feelings can get pretty fucking weird, right? You feel very much tied to the concept of whoever this is. He's saying it's mine, and I know it's mine. Yes, so too are the feelings. But that's the piece we're not allowing through. 
It's kind of like I need to know that this person's in my life, but I'm not ready for the feelings yet. Let's keep going. Show me March, please. Show me March, please, for Leo. Show me. Show me March, please, for Leo. Show me March, please, for Leo. Show me March, please, for Leo. Show me March, please. Show me March, please, for Leo. You know, sometimes that old devil really does get in the way. So this is what you can do to use the devil energy. Because like I said, we all have it. Anyone who says they doesn't, that's their five of swords talking. We all have devil energy, okay? We all do. Take a lesson from In Excess, The Devil Inside. Great song. <laughs> but it's true. We all have a little bit of that devil. So you want to know how to use that devil energy towards your advantage. Whatever it whispers in your ear, the opposite is true. The fears, the question marks, the doubts. The stuff that says you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do that. Oh, my love. The contrary is true. Always. The contrary will always be true. And that's how you use the devil to your advantage. And also, of course, if you have Capricorn in your chart, that's very auspicious because now we are in Capricorn season and they're all about persistence. Yes, persistence despite the odds, honey. Despite the odds, they continue to persist. So if you have Capricorn in your chart, I want you to use it. And then also, this is great time in terms of time advantage here as we're in Capricorn season to push past and persist. If you really want to throw something down to this person in terms of a brand new beginning, even if you know you're not going to be able to access the feelings for this right away, then perhaps challenge yourself. If you're saying they need to come to me, okay, fine. But it's not that person's energy. I'm saying their signature ID is completely different than yours. Okay? It's really coming forward as you. As you feel that this is something you need to do to the point that it kind of pisses you off. Gets a little bit under your skin, you know? You're saying you don't know. Let's give that another shuffle. Show me March, please. Show me March, please. Show me March. I wasn't quite done. Ten of Wands, Burden, the Lovers. The moon, we feel it so terribly strongly. We feel it so terribly strongly, don't we? It's a burden, it's a strain, it's hard. The connection you're telling me is so hard. And it's a powerful one. Powerful one. You're telling me you can't feel the feelings for this because it causes you so much strain. That what you do feel for this connection goes under the moon. It's easier than feeling the full weight of it or allowing yourself to feel the full weight of it. Again, it's like you're telling me you want it, but you're not ready for the emotions of it. I want it, but I'm not ready for the emotions. I want it, but I'm not ready for the emotions. I need it. I know it's mine, but I'm not ready for the emotions. There is a weight of responsibility. Yes, true, as it implies the emotions. It's like, I need this connection. I want it. I desire it. It pulls me strongly, Christina. But I find the strain of the emotional quality to be as such that I cannot handle it. It has to go under the moon. I'm not prepared for the love bond, for the love union, but I do need the union. It, you're telling me I understand that there's a love bond here, and that is the consequence of this connection. And I want it. I desire it. I understand that it's mine. The universe put it on my path. I know this, but I'm not ready to accept the emotional responsibility of it. And uh, it, again, it, 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 this is emotional responsibility. It's not just having love thrown at you and that you get to bathe in it. No, it's accepting it too and reciprocating it. The reciprocation of feelings, ownership. The King and Queen of Cups are very owning of their feelings. This is what you want to open up towards is the actual love. It's not to just have this person around to have them around because you really believe and strongly believe that they're yours. 
I see your protective qualities here for this person. I do. You're telling me it's mine. It's part of that Leo thing, you know. I, I feel and believe that you're mine, so I want to protect you and I need to have you in my life. But I'm not ready for the emotional responsibility. It's funny because that's what you desire with this person the most. You want the connection in your life. You do. And you want what it could afford. But it's like, I'm not in a position to carry the weight of the feelings for this. I want to be. One day. But it's kind of like, for now, it's enough for me to know that this connection's in my life and that I can have access to it. Okay? Yes, a strong connection it might be. But the feelings overwhelm someone. And I say I have to put it under the moon. Anything else please for March? What else please for March? kind of like you're telling me I need to know that they're there. Four swords, rest, page of pentacles, opening up towards the sun. Yes, that's better. Good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Four swords, the page of pentacles to the sun. I want you to rest. Okay? In that energy of feeling overwhelmed sometimes. It starts in the smallest of ways, making the smallest of investments towards your happiness potential, the sun. Keep it small. Okay? Keep it small. We want to keep the connection. You seem to know that. You seem to understand that there is emotional responsibility attached to it. That there is love potential here for a strong bond. Present day. And then also for the future. You're also telling me that sometimes the feelings are so much that you get overwhelmed sometimes and you can't divulge in them, indulge in them, or reciprocate them, but you need the connection in your life. Okay? Start small. Start small. The smallest of realistic investments. Contemplate that. What does that look like? All right? And allow the sense of warmth to unfold in you and you will know what to do. Okay? Keep the communication consistent. Invest in small forms in small ways so that you might open up to a stronger future. Starts out small as these things do. How will unravel for the rest of the year, I don't know. But keep it small. Don't overthink it. Rest on it, contemplate it. But I promise you, you'll be investing in your son if you do. Okay? It's, uh, you do have very much so the potential of a long-term happiness with this person. You must know this. You're saying, Christine, it's the weight of the feelings I can't take full responsibility for right now, but I do need to know that this person's still in my life. Okay. It starts in the smallest of ways. Helicopters today? Well, that's different. <laughs> Hello, if you're new to the channel, hi. Uh, you know, I live in the Burbs, but if you're not familiar with the Burbs, you would think it's quiet. It's not. The burb noise is constant. Uh, helicopters, though, that is different. I must say, it's usually lawnmowers, weed whackers. Oh, speaking of which. Okay. Yep, yeah, that was a little different. <sighs> Living in the burbs, honey, let me tell you, it's oversold. <laughs> it's way oversold. <laughs> Oh, God, sometimes I wish I had kept my place downtown, honey. Sometimes, you know, because at least that makes sense to me. <laughs> judgment. Show me judgment, please. 
Imperative decisions, please, over the next several months. Imperative decisions, please, over the next several months. Judgment calls, please, for Leo. Judgment calls, please, for Leo. Show me. Show me judgment calls, please, for Leo. Show me judgment calls, please, for Leo. Next several months, show me judgment. You know, it's funny, I'm not getting too much of the other person so much as your reaction to them. Typically, I see much more specifics, but uh, I believe this person just evokes so much energy in you. They provoke such a strong response in you. It's like, uh, it overwhelms you, and I see you shut it down many times. It's like, why do I have such a strong call to this? I really feel like it's mine. I want to take ownership of it. The only piece of them I saw that was consistent and outside of yours was all this water. You know what they represent to you in emotionality, honey. You know that, right? It's the emotional investment that you're struggling with. You want it. You know it's there. And you know it could mean something to you later down the line. Not necessarily the next three months. I still see you struggling with it, but coming to terms in the simplest of ways. How you can kind of micro-invest in this energy for potential sunshine happiness, you know. I want the connection, but I can't handle the love yet. The love responsibility, that's what you're telling me. I really want to take a look at your double, so let's keep on keeping on. Four of Wands, Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles. There is something else here we're giving to. Somebody is. You or them. Somebody, somebody here is still giving to another situation. That, that explains everything. All right? Real tarot, real life. That's my motto. That's what I stand by. So when it's time to laugh, I laugh. And when it's time to be serious, it's time to be serious. Yeah, someone here is still giving to a situation that causes them pain, but they insist on balancing with it six of pentacles. It's some sort of relationship and or commitment. That's why. It kind of explains everything. It explains why you feel that this soul bond is yours and that you want to keep it in your life, but you can't give to it emotionally. It causes you conflict to the point of strain. And it causes you a sort of mental conflict. It causes you emotional conflict. You've told me repeatedly, I need this in my life, and I believe you. When you say you need this in your life, I actually believe you. I do. But you're also telling me I can't give to it emotionally. I feel like I could do the full. I would love to open up towards this, Christina, innately. I feel it. It's a call. It's a calling in me. And I want to honor that call. I want to gravitate towards that call, but I block that. I block the feeling, the intuition, and the love with this person, this Queen of Cups person. Okay? Because I can't, I'm not allowed to share that emotional responsibility. I'm not allowed to. But I need this connection in my life, even if it's in the smallest of ways. Because it makes me happy. And it might make me happy further down the line, but that's indistinct and fuzzy to you. And here's why. Uh, somebody is still marked with judgment in continuing on in a relationship that ultimately causes pain. It's unhappy, but it's balanced. In other words, we're used to it. Somebody's used to this particular relationship and or marital balance. We're used to it. The exchange is still present day. Six of Pentacles, the old back and forth. It's not the most romantic and loving of Four of Wands relationship and or commitment, but it's feasible and it's real life, even though somebody doesn't want it anymore. The Three of Swords. It's a decision to balance in this. That's why it's marked with judgment. Somebody's consciously choosing to continue to give to a relationship they don't particularly care much for. It's you, it's them, it's somebody. Okay. 
and it's active to this day it's active it's a back and forth it's well rehearsed it's well known it's not a surprise to anyone but it causes pain it causes pain but we still contribute to it somebody does Anything else, please, under judgment? Anything else, please, under judgment? Anything else, please, under judgment? They, I can see why you want this person in your life and you feel that they need to be part of your life because they represent the greater thing of love. The potential for it, the greatness of it, love and glory. Okay. They make you happy. You feel it. When even when you give them the smallest of pages, it makes you feel good. And your fool would open up towards them and participate and rejoice in that love if it could. And that's why you're telling me you want the relationship, you want this connection, but you can't have the emotions. So you take it to the moon place. The light for this relationship and or marriage is out. Ace of Wands is in the reverse. So for fire signs, that's why I paused so heavily. This is your master symbol, of course. You being Leo. King. King of fire. That's your master symbol in reverse. Your light for a particular person has gone out. Could be Aries Leo Sag, does not have to be. Uh, but for whoever this is, we keep saying we don't know, and it's back and forth. Yes, we do know. This says so. Somebody keeps saying they don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know about that. Christina, I, I'm not convinced. Yeah, the, the light for this connection has gone out, this relationship, this marriage, this person. Could be a fire sign, like I said. We're no longer attracted to this person, but it's not just attraction, is it? It's the passion. So for fire signs, let me explain this to you. If cross watchers, if you're not aware of that fire energy, okay, especially Leo, let me give you a lesson on that. For fire signs, if they don't have the passion behind their energy, in other words, the oomph, it's not just sex. We need to get out of that thinking. For fire signs, if they don't have the fire, they lose the inspiration. They lose that will to be turned on by what they're doing, to put their best energy out there, and then it just becomes par for the course, day-to-day -day energy. The inspiration, the creativity, the hope, the drive, the passion, that has to be with fire signs. Okay. But Leo being fixed energy, well, you being fixed fire, even if your fire has gone out, you will continue to contribute to something for a very long time because you are ultimately fixed. Change is hard for you. And I don't think you quite know how to reignite the fire in this situation. I believe it's you, but again, it could be other person. But this isn't going to help you either. This has been with you for a while, going back and forth about something you say you're not sure you're not sure about. Actually, no, you're quite sure about it. The drive for this relationship to keep it going, to keep your best qualities alive in it, no. You still give it energy and attention, but you're saying I, I don't know what to do with it, and I don't know that that's necessarily the case. Yes, we do. It's the source of pain. It's on us to change, you know. It is on us to change. We have choices to make every day, honey. Both big and small, realistic, to the boring, the ho hum, to the big life stuff. To the big to the big life stuff. 
we all think that we can do what's in our best interest. And I really don't know what your best interest is. All I can do is read the cards, honey. All I can do is read energy. Tarot doesn't dictate a damn thing. It comes down to you and whoever else is in there at the end of the day. Once I'm done recording, the message is off. And life for you has to resume if you resonate. So if you don't, don't take it. Look at your other placements. I'll catch you in the next one. You have choices here. You're choosing to keep a connection in your life because you say it's yours. You're choosing to engage with that connection, even if it's in the smallest of ways. But you say you can't emotionally give to it. You want to and hope to one day. But today's not that day. And you're actively choosing to continue to maintain a relationship and or marriage that frankly looks like it hurts you. Okay? It doesn't inspire you. And it gives you nowhere to go. I believe. So take what resonates, leave what does not reverse energies as it applies. But yes, another situation in the 3D is being given your time, energy, and effort, even if you don't feel for much for it anymore. Okay. And that is a choice. It's judgment. What you will do with the situation, I do not know. You tell me it's yours, I believe you. We can't own people, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying you own this person. What you're telling me is that, energetically speaking, I don't know who that is to me. And I have a very strong, imperative, almost compulsive need to keep them in my life because I know what they could mean. They represent love. That's all they represent is love. Pure love. Strong love. That's why I want them. They represent what is not there. It. Show me the tower, please. Critical. <clears throat> Anything unexpected, please. Anything unexpected, unexpected knowledge. Outer workings, inner workings. Anything unexpected, please, over the next several months, the tower. Anything unexpected, please, for the next several months, please. Show me the tower, 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 show me the tower. For Leo, the next several months, anything please into the tower. <clears throat> Four of Cups, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. You, uh, you may not believe this, and you can't see it, not yet, you can't see it, you can't see it, two of swords, the four of cups, <clears throat> nine of pentacles, you can't see it yet, and I don't think you can feel it yet, but you have a very strong desire for independence, and the day you realize that it's going to hit you, right there, right in the old noggin, right in the third eye, crown chakra, there's a million different names for it. <laughs> I don't know when that day is. I don't. You don't either. I can't see it because you can't see it. You're telling me, Christina, I can't even imagine that. I can't even imagine being single again. I can't even imagine being out on my own again. I can't. I can't see it. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. Oh. This impossible world is filled with possibilities. That's what makes life so unique and so fascinating and so fantastic. What we think could never happen, in fact, does. You're telling me you can't see it? That this kind of unhappiness has to stay. It's just accepted. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't have that kind of decision, Christina. Oh, yeah, you do. You just don't know it yet. One day you'll have that sense of call to freedom. When it happens, I don't know, but it will come in as a rush. Until then, a rush of knowledge. Until then, you remain in this state of I can't see it and my hands are tied. It will come in when it comes in. 
<clears throat> what else plays about the tower? What else plays about the tower? You, King of Wands, Two of Cups, King of Swords. Nevertheless, I must insist it will happen. When I do not know. You don't see your freedom yet. You can't. Not from now. Not from January. Not February. Not March. Sometime. The months will pass. One day you will see your freedom and act upon it. Somebody will. That which they give the old back and forth to, even though they're not terribly thrilled by the relationship anymore. And by that I mean the light has gone out. And in fact, it causes pain to do the old back and forth maintenance. This relationship is beyond maintenance mode. Okay. It's at the point where your energy is not uh, replenished. It takes rather than gives or it remains neutral, which is just as bad. Honestly, there's nothing worse, I think, or more destructive in any relationship than indifference. It seems like it's neutral, that everyone benefits. It's not. Indifference is in the worst thing. It is. It causes more destruction over time than anything else. I'd rather someone hate me than show me indifference. It's the worst thing. <clears throat> so I know when you tell me, Christina, I can't see it. I can't see it being single and free. I can't see it. It's just not possible. This is just the way it is. I have to accept it. I will always have the pull for this person in my life, but not necessarily be able to give to it emotionally. I'm going to tell you you're wrong. You just don't know it yet. This is long term, further out, much further out. Okay? It goes well past March. The next three months, obviously, will be three months from now. Now, King of Swords. I'm reading this person back here with all this water energy. So even though the sword is different, it's in that sense of determination. They're choosing you too. They know, in other words, they're telling me what they're getting into when it comes to you. They already decided upon that a long time ago. You, the love energy you said you could not feel that you could not participate in, that you could not indulge in, that you could not share, that you could not exchange, that you could not say the words, the emotional responsibility you said you could not take on, one day you will. And they are determined to meet you there. They already made that decision a long time ago when it comes to you. They already made that decision a long time ago. They already know their confidence is ridiculous in that sense of uh, it went here from a lovely water soft feminine space to oh I knew I knew about you a long time ago and I decided about you a long time ago I was there I was always there they got a hard hat hard noggin very intelligent but also oh I know I've been knowing is what their energy is telling me. It's the first time I saw a sharp indication of them outside the water. Highly intuitive your person is. But they have a touch of, oh, I know. I know. I chose you, Leo, a long time ago. They're very intelligent. Almost hyper-intelligent, I'm not going to lie. That's the first time I saw their energy come in at a sharp angle. Other than what was back here, that two of cups you said you could not have nor indulge in. It's too hard. 
shall show my energy in small ways because it makes me happy and I can at least say that. Bold as press that energy is. They have no hesitation. They have no hesitation. It's so funny. They represent such a pure heart space, but when it actually comes time for the 3D, they're there. They're right there and they're like, oh no, I chose you. I chose you a long time ago. They're not confused at all. So when I tell you, you say you can't see it, you don't know how much freedom you want, your independence, your singledom, one day you will. The love you said you could not have or share is now there. Told you the devil's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it is the strongest indication of what it is we are to do and what it is we're not meant to do. I know that this connection, this person, it feels so strongly that sometimes it puts you in a bad space. And I know you cannot give to it the way that you want. They do represent love, a lot of it. And I don't think you wanted to let them go for that reason. You knew it was a connection that meant a great deal to you. The love was always there, it was just It's like I know about it, but I can't access it, Christina. I can't. I can't. I'm not allowed to. One day you will be. Oh, that was 50 minutes? <clears throat> I don't think I need to push too much more on that devil now. I think we've pretty much uh, solved the mystery. Desiring that connection so strongly, even though we know we can't give it love. You want to. You never... You... You don't reject them so much as you reject your inclination to take off towards them. Emotionally. Physically. In the real world. I see you extending your energy outward. To keep the connection. You know you could leave it alone if you wanted to. You could have done. You do not have to carry it over into the new year. You know that, but you're choosing to. And then after that, <clears throat> your 3D energy with this person becomes minuscule, small, small forms, but it's there. The love exchange is not, that's buried underneath the frequency you two share. Anything else, please? Anything else, please? Anything else, please? Anything else, please? You feel very good. Very good. They please you in a way that um, is unique to you. <clears throat> How you experience this person's energy. I'm getting a lot of masculine energy from you today. And that's a big part of the protective quality with Leo. You could be a female Leo and you still identify with these aspects. You have a very strong sense of oomph when it comes to this person's energy. It's, it's resplendent. It makes you feel very strong feelings that make you feel good inside and on the outside. This person sees you. They see you. Okay. Uh, very strong Empress energy here with all that Queen of Cups energy. Strong love component attached to this person. Highly maternal, highly protective as well. Highly productive. This, this person pleases you in ways that it's very hard for you to define, but it's an explosion of energy that happens on the inside as well as on the outside. When you're near them, you feel goofy. We show off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then on the inside, it's like melting butter, you know? But it's so much more than that. Um, they please you in a way that you haven't felt in a long time. They might have even told you that once.
the feelings for this exchange are terribly strong. They make you feel good on the inside and they make you feel good on the outside. And it's within proximity to this person. Tis the opposite of that. That's a little bit more about who they are. But that love expression that you struggle with, it stays within you. Okay? You're telling me you can't take the responsibility of the emotional exchange outwardly, but inwardly you know how you react to them. Like I said, they provoke some of your strongest feelings so much so that it makes you uncomfortable. Okay? That exchange, that two of cups exchange between the two of you happens fluidly after your uh, Nine of Pentacles freedom. They're telling me they chose you a long time ago. They chose you a long time ago. No matter what happened between you two, especially with this little opening, I could leave them behind in the old year or try to connect with them again in the new year. The options there, so that tells me there's some drifting between your two energies. And don't get me wrong, you two have a very small surface output, okay? Very small 3D energy until the timing's right. Yeah, but they chose you a long time ago. They said they made up their mind about you a long time ago. So it doesn't really matter how far you two drift, it, um, you two always kind of find a way to drift back, you know. Which is what the lover's connection is. It's a right pain in the ass. <laughs> We've, we, you've, as I was saying, thank you, Spirit. I appreciate that. Four of Pentacles and Six of Cups. Like I said, you two might have always drifted apart. But then you kind of drift back. It's that kind of soul bond. It's not four pentacles for the sake of it, because I'm too afraid to do anything else. That's 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 more like what this, this is, with all due respect. No insult intended. That's more like what this is. I'm used to balancing with this pain. It's a relationship and or marriage that doesn't typically or terribly make me happy, but I'm used to it. That's That's what this is. This is that sometimes we drift apart but we never really lose each other. No matter how difficult it gets, it still stays with us, even if sometimes we have to bury the feeling for it. Okay? That's all they're showing me. Confirmation of what I already know and what you already feel. <clears throat> Let's do... All right, that's enough. I think I, I can't. It, it, it's finally I got some edge on that person. Some stronger angles of definition. Uh, I see the energetic tie that you two don't become more realistic 3D until your Nine of Pentacles freedom. Yes? Calling in your soulmate. Yes, I'm sure you are. You know they're there. You did call them in. They are under, it is your soulmate, as we've seen, that's marked with reconciliation. You two will reconnect, okay? It will be enough, I believe, Leo, realistically, to keep this person in your life. Because, again, you're telling me this one's mine. I know it's mine. I can't take off towards the love. I can't share the love. I can't bear the responsibility of the love. But I need to know that they're in my life. And you don't even know your own sense of freedom yet. But when you do, the embargo lifts, as it were. There is an embargo on this connection, yes. And I'm sure that you two have drifted apart and come back and drifted apart and come back. And because somebody here is still in a relationship, most likely marriage, I believe, 
um, we were only able to give surface level contribution. Small forms of communication. Small forms of action. But every time you did it made you happy. They provoke strong feelings in you. Etc. Yes, you two will have... It's looking like you two drifted towards the end of the year. And it's looking like you're coming back towards the beginning of it. Okay. Now you have a lot more specification here. Compared to a lot of other folks that I've been seeing. But yes. Uh, children. Somebody here might have a child. And uh, of course. And even then it can still represent dependency full stop. There could be dependencies or some sort of dependence that come into the equation. But for somebody that is simply confirmation... Pay attention to the red flags, please. There are signs cautioning you about the retreat. What about the retreat? It's time to disconnect. Healing family issues. Okay. I want you to pay attention to the red flags in that I believe the relationship here someone is, it's talking about drifting, it's retreating, it's becoming further and further apart, it's starting to look like somebody's pattern possibly with the marriages or the parents they grew up with, somebody's present day commitment and or marriage might be looking like how they grew up, whether two parents were emotionally distant, okay, um, and possibly stayed together out of habit, not necessarily wanting to or desiring to, um, because I have some repeating patterns here for somebody in that sense that uh, the two people who should be the closest are the furthest apart, but they still choose to be together, that kind of thing. So pay attention to the red flags in terms of retreat and healing family issues. Healing family issues almost always goes back to childhood in terms of um, look at what your parents did and how you grew up under that particular model. And is that relationship, is that what you're reflecting today? So something to think about, something to look at for somebody somewhere. Okay, this is much further out in terms of that tower. Anything else here, please, on that tower? in terms of importance. The freedom, please. Show me the freedom, please. Show me that Nine of Pentacles, please. This is, it's choice. It's choice, honey. It's a dealer's choice. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, that Six of Pentacles going back to here. Um, only when we consciously choose to walk away from a union that we have been giving to out of habit, structure, pain, environment, I'm used to it. Uh, only then will you have a brand new beginning in love. Okay, so it's not really coming across this time. Now it could be, yes, six to eight months from now. Yes, true. Um, but it's more like a conscious decision when we choose to walk away. It could be connecting to Pisces, does not have to be that connectivity. Knight of Cups, the Chariot, and then it will move forward. We want to move that love energy forward so very much. So if you have Cancer in your chart, I really want you to use it in terms of coming out of the moon with this person and expressing ourselves and moving our energy forward and only then. So you have the potential for a brand new beginning in love and it's on literally the condition that we walk away from that Six of Pentacles balance that we're used to, the old back and forth. And that's when you are proposed a brand new beginning in love. That's when you come out of the moon with this person. Specifically, your feelings. The feelings you say you cannot exchange yet. That it's not your place to do so and you're not able to responsibly do so. And that is when we know that it's lovely. It's forward. It's honest. It's open. It's resplendent in love and moving forward in love. Literally. And it's also a form of self-love. By moving towards that who, and rather who represents what has been missing. Oh. Somebody does not have children, the other person does. Yes. The child medallion. As I was saying that, I didn't even notice it. I was looking at this, the children card. All I know is that somebody in this equation, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Someone has a distinct lack of children, and somebody does have a child or children. That's all I know. Um, the vulnerability of a child, yes. Dependencies, yes. But also what we learned in childhood. 
what we learned in childhood after our parents modeling their particular behavior? Are we just recreating that person's that? Are we just recreating our parents' marriages? That kind of thing. Okay. Um, there's that too, but that's imperative point. I don't want to get too far into this. I don't want to. I don't want to. I it it's 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 coming across. I don't want to get too far into this. I feel obligated to report it, but I'm not going into it. Um, it was a distinct point with somebody to not have children. It was either a conscious choice or they couldn't. And that's been drifting in somebody's energy in terms of their output, relationship choices, agendas ever since. And um, it's it's been impacting. We either couldn't or I didn't want to. And somebody in this equation does have a child. And it's something else that is coming across as, as potentially confrontational or challenging um, for the other person who never did. Because it's something they never wanted to do or they never wanted to be a parent or they were never prepared to be one. Something like that, I don't know. I don't want to get too far into it. It's there, and I reported it. That's my job. Z, P, butterfly, time of transformation, but soft transformation. In other words, it's going to take time. It's a delicate process, but it is happening. Heart with a nurse's cap, yes. Healing our heart, of course. And uh, for some of you, it's just... There you go. Healing our heart, our feelings, etc. Cancer, yeah, I saw that towards the end. Some of you have some very strong cancer in your chart. Could be connecting to one. There's that Capricorn energy again. Uh, again, if you have strong Capricorn in your chart, and then also for some of you, you might be extending your energy outwards towards the other person now in Capricorn season, I believe. Um, also, let's see, what is that? That is ambitious, yes, of course. But um, Cancer, Capricorn, connecting to either one. You might have some prominent placements in your chart. The anchor, yes, needing that emotional anchor, that emotional steadfastness, wanting it, desiring it, knowing that you have a love energy that's there for you, supports you, is there for you 100% full love all the time. That's the emotional anchor. We stay there by choice because we understand that we have love there. Okay. Uh, the Stingray, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the hot air balloon needing to go higher into the sky so we can look down below to see what's actually going on in terms of movement, patterns, our energy distribution, where we're going, why, what we're desiring, why, putting roots down and being able to see a good clear spot, that kind of thing. I think that's enough. I will. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Anything else in here, please? 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 I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. I don't know who this is, but I'm picking up on it. It's like a it's a light pulse that's running under this. I don't know why I keep coming back to it, and I don't want to. Um, but it's coming across as a light pulse to touch on. Somebody never wanted children because they didn't want to be like their father or their parents. Cold, detached, seemingly uncaring. Um, I can't take that responsibility. I don't want that responsibility. I can't take that responsibility. And it's kind of sat as the root of unconscious fear for not just having children, but relationships in general. Don't do anything too crazy. Don't engage in anyone that pulls you too strongly. Don't do anything that's too... We can't commit to that. I can't commit to that. I mean, look who, look who I'm modeled after. Look at them. I don't want to be like them. I want to have a kid for that reason. I don't know. Fate, divine intervention, epiphany, breakthrough. Yes, indeed. I told you when it strikes, it's going to be like that. There's the epiphany. There's that tower energy with the lightning bolt. Fate, detours, divine intervention. You will have a breakthrough, an epiphany. That's that tower later in time. Okay. 
You will see. And that's you, honey. That's your Ace of Fire. That's your Ace of Wands. You will be reignited once more. Your Ace of Wands will be in the upright once more. You will know what direction to take once more. You will be inspired and to light your pathway once more. I already know where it's aimed at. The thing is, is that you need to realize it too. And it's going to hit you hard in the crown chakra. Right there. You say you can't see your freedom. You can't see your independence. You can't imagine being on your own and single again. No. Uh, fate one day is going to come along and shake that knowledge up. The Leo I'm looking at says, you can't see it. You just know that you need this connection in your life. And it's that need that makes you uncomfortable. It makes you uncomfortable. Because you, you already know. You can't assume the emotional responsibility of it. You just know you want it in your life. You say it's yours. I believe you. The thing is, is fate's trying to do you a favor. Because they know where that person's going to be positioned in proximity to you in a future you cannot see. Yet. That's all. Yours was very fate oriented. I promise you, this person's being positioned in your life like a piece on a chessboard. You know that you can have access to them in small ways that make you happy. You say that's enough for you. What you didn't know is that you will be able to choose each other in the future, but it's much further down the road. This relationship has to be walked away from before we can acquire new love. Okay. That's enough. Leo, honey, put in the comments as you see fit. In terms of this person, re reconciliation with a clear soulmate. You two clearly drifted apart. You'll be drifting back soon, I believe. And it could be happening now within Capricorn season, which goes into late January. So between now and to late January, I have every reason to believe you'll be reconciling with this person prior to Aquarius season. And right now it's just coming in as a very strong driving need keep this person in my life. I have to do this. I don't understand why, and it drives me fucking crazy, but I gotta do it. That's because you two are being positioned for something later down the road, I believe. Um, I do see a Leo who has a phenomenal amount, I believe, of Earth in their chart, I think. It, it, but in terms of introducing yourself to them, reintroducing themselves, I don't know. But it looks rather bold through my eyes. Um, I, I don't know what that Ace of Pentacles will mean to you in terms of representation. It could be that it's just kind of scary to kind of reintroduce your energy to this person. So it might seem like a grand gesture in your eyes, even if it is terribly not that large. I don't know. I'm kind of being a little nosy about that. I, I kind of want to see that Ace of Pentacles and why does that look so large in your eyes? Why is it taking you so much nerve, courage to put that through? And it scares you a little bit, but it's also, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. What does that Ace of Pentacles look like? What does that Ace of Pentacles look like? And we know if you're connecting to Scorpio, I just saw that on the connect, the split a couple times as well as Aries. Justice, Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. We've been putting this off, the sense of balance, for some time. We knew we could. We've been putting off the sense of balance for some time, but now the time has come, the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, the truth. The truth. It will be spoken and or communicated in some way. We knew we could balance with this person for a while, but we've been putting it off. We needed to clarify things within ourselves. But it will be put forward, excuse me, as a conversation, when that's honest. 
enough time has passed it seems that you two have drifted apart it's time to drift back again that's all I got so it's Ace of Swords it's a conversation and truth being put forward we were actively putting off this balance we knew we could but we needed to wait and think about things for a minute okay it's just coming across as an offer to talk okay and that's how it starts that's enough for reals this time that's enough enough for reals this time I wanted to do I'm a little nosy <laughs> I'm a little nosy, I'm a little nosy, I'm just a little bit nosy, I can't help it, but also, honey, that's one of the things that makes me good at my job, you know. <laughs> Communication. And it is declarative, and that is your ace of pentacles in your eyes. This is my offer to talk to you. It's my offer to talk to you. They will respond. That's all I know. They will respond kindly okay that's enough for real this time Leo say I push for you push for you honey good luck to you take care be well 